Hello and welcome to this video on installing ESXi version 8. So I've mounted the ISO image to my server. I've booted into it, hit enter for continue and hit F11 to start the installation. Drives are then scanned so we can find where we want to install the ESXi onto. I've selected the small drive. Then we change our language and we set a root password and confirm it at the next stage. We hit enter to continue. I have a hardware warning since we're using old hardware in the lab, this is fine. We can continue and watch the installation progress. Once the installation is finished, we are able to configure the server and we'll fast forward here. Okay, so that's the server installed. We now need to do the configuration. By default, it gets a DHCP address if you have DHCP on your network. So we'll hit F2 to customize the system. We'll enter our username and password. And we want to change to use a static network. So we can go into our management network. We can select our network adapter. We can change the VLAN if we need to. And then we can set a static IPv4 address here. My subnet mask and default gateway are correct. I can leave those as they are. We then go to IPv6 and we can disable this if we need to, but this will require a restart of the server later. We can then change the DNS servers here too, and change the host name of the server to reflect what we want to be called on the network. And we can change our DNS suffixes here as well. We hit escape and Y to confirm that we want to reboot the server. Reboot is only required if you change the IPv6 address settings. We'll fast forward here. So that's the server installed and the management network configured. We can then use a web browser to connect to the server's web UI. Log in with the username and password. And what we should do in here, first of all, is change the NTP server settings. So we can go to our manage option here, go to time and date, and we can edit our NTP settings. We can use an internal or an external NTP server, or a bunch of servers if we separate them with a comma. I'm using an external pool of NTP servers here. We can save that, and then the server will start and stop. Uh, the NTP server will start and stop with the system, but we need to start it manually for the first time. So we can go to services, select NTPD, and we can start the NTPD service. Once that's done, we can refresh back on the previous page to see that it is now running. And that's it. That's the basic installation and configuration of ESXi version 8. I hope this video has been useful. Thanks for listening.